Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night. Very late night, actually. NXT review. It was NXT Vengeance Day, ladies and gentlemen, even though that's such a lame, like, that's just a lame, wasted excuse to just use Vengeance. Why not just call it St. Valentine's Day? <laughs> like, or, you know, why are you calling it Vengeance Day? That's such a stupid name. Whatever, what can you really do, you know, just move on, ladies and gentlemen. Who fucking cares in the end of the day, I guess, right? Grab your Coca-Cola, is shaking my knees, please. Buy me some bitches, go. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Cheers, motherfuckers. That's something that you want to do on Valentine's Day instead of watching this crap. Who the fuck wants to Who's gonna... No chick will fuck you if you watch this shit. Or in modern wrestling in general. Oh, you say, oh, no, you're not going to watch this simple one, but so W's not a church at AEW? No. All right. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, I missed some of it, but, like, I tried to rewatch some things, so. Okay. Uh, first match was Pete Dunne defeating Tony D'Angelo in a weaponized steel cage match. I'd rather have Tony D'Angelo win because he's, like, what, the future guy? And plus, I think he's better. But the match was alright. The match was cool. You know, some weapons and shit. And they used the cage. So, this was a darn good steel cage match. So, I'll give that. Then there was like a montage of Akira Gonzalez and Jake uh, Cora Jade. Uh, rest, uh, you know, training. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Toxic Attraction defeats Indy Hardwell and Bracia Parada, uh, uh, Parada uh, to retain the women's tag titles. Good for them, man. You look good. Let me fucking point this out. Apparently, for some reason, I don't know, in my Raw review, I sparked some controversy in the comments that, Oh, you said Lita is the best looking chick in the main, in, out, out of the entire roster? I mean, compared to the She-Hulks, yeah. I'm not saying, like, she's, like, the only chick that looks attractive. And, like, Mandy Rose, like, she's, like, the only ch Like, she's in NXT, though. Like, she's, like, not in, like, I guess the main roster. And what's her name? Maurice is not even a wrestler anymore. Like, people... It, like, the thing is, the reality is, like, all these pit chicks from the past, or, I don't know. Like, compared to fucking, uh, what? All these disgusting She-Hulks, like Charlotte, Becky Lynch, or whatever. And also these plastic cunty bitches like Carmella, who looks like fucking plastic as all hell and failed plastic surgeries. You really think that those chicks look good? And I don't know how, I don't know if like some weird people in the comments saying, Oh, I like Doja, what? Have you not watched my videos? You fucking weirdos. I don't know, I feel, I, I have the weird, weird, I have the weirdest comment sections. I don't know. It's like, why everyone's is normal? Why do I have people that hate, like, just basically just crap on me? Oh, god damn. NXT Level Up is debuting on Friday. And it's no longer be 205 Live. I mean, eh, whatever. Who cares? You know, basically, like, what, what is two, like, 205 Live doesn't exist anyways. It's not, no longer Cruiser Division, so what can you really say, you know? Then uh, LA Knight versus Grayson Waller is not announced for next week. Basically, Grayson Waller wanted the guy arrested, and then oh, we're gonna have a match with this. You know, it's whatever. I don't really care. Tommaso Ciampa says that Dolph Ziggler thinks he's better than him, and has mistaken the loyalty for fear. Then Carmelo Hayes defeats Cameron Grimes to retain the North American title. I fell asleep during this crap after I came home during the Raquel Gonzalez. Training session. Malcolm Bivens has a never give up nah you should towel. Huh. That's like a, a spoof of Cena. That's actually funny. And the Creed Brothers defeats MSK for the, the 2022 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I mean, they're like the better team to win, I guess, you know. So what can I really say? Uh, Dolph Ziggler vs. Tomas Champa is announced for next week's 2.0. Uh, okay. And Braun Breaker defeated, uh, Santos Escobar to win the, uh, NXT still be champion. Um, I sadly didn't watch this match. Some people said it was alright. Um, 
I really honestly don't give a fuck that much to watch it back. But definitely Braun Breaker winning is cool. Good for him. I, I'm not denying Santos Escobar. Like, the guy's alright. I'm not saying he's great. I don't think he should have won the title. So it's a good thing that this happened. So, good on them keeping the title on Braun Breaker for now. I do think definitely, like, Braun Breaker should go on the main roster soon because we need some stars, and I think Braun Breaker could be something. Am I saying he's, like, the greatest thing possible today? No, he's not. But definitely has more potential than a lot of these guys in NXT to be hopefully a guy who maybe, like, if you want to know, know who the next top star he can do, is really Braun Breaker at this point. But the thing is, it shouldn't be just one guy. It should be creating more stars. Tony D'Angelo should not be losing. Or, or, like, especially losing, like, fucking, I don't know. I understand just a one match, right, right? But, like, he lost to fucking Cameron Grimes, the guy who's just a fucking, let's be honest here, a fucking jobber. And, I don't know, like, fucking, is, that's just his point. Where's Joe Gacy? <laughs> if anything, those are the three top guys that, that are pretty cool from NXT. You know? Uh... I think that's all I have to really say. Overall, my thoughts on this show, this show was whatever. It was not worse than, like, usual. But the thing is, like, I'll be honest with you, even by missing the, like, but because I fell asleep, I can say that this show did not live up to the fucking hype, okay? It was just basically a typical, like, on-TV special NXT, you know? It's just, all oh, because we're gonna try to do something to make people care or whatever. But, hey, we're gonna have to care next week because it's gonna be their turn on... Side, I mean, no, it's gonna be their turn on uh, the USA Network, and they're gonna have Dolph Ziggler versus Tommaso Ciampa. You really think that match is gonna draw viewership? Get the fuck out of here! Oh yeah, I think I, 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 oh, yeah, I fell asleep. Like, I woke up when Dolph Ziggler came on, and I fell asleep again. Like, yeah, I bust my ass, and we are the best in the world. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm pull it off. I'm gonna pull up every night, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you just said some gay shit, I mean, no one fucking cares, you're a fucking gay Dolph Ziggler, fuck you, you're garbage. You fucking smells like, you're, you're a fucking flop like a fish, and you smell like fucking fish, fuck you, garbage. That's what I'm gonna say, people, I'm, uh, that's Rasa for you, until next time, peace, yeah, bye.